summer lights and nights Every week another nightfall, a never ending fight The facts that have to fall in it, even the cabal One by one to get a rewards, he had to kill them all He's the luckiest guy on destiny Animals! It's your boy Hype bringing you another episode of The Luckiest Guy on Destiny. This week we were going up against Sepix Prime and I'll tell you what, I was by far, by far from lucky. Probably one of the worst rewards I've ever gotten in the Nightfall that I can remember, at least in a very long time. But we'll get to that, you'll see coming up. But before we get to that, let's have a little recap of what we got last week. And there it is on the bottom left. We got 12 Ascended Energies. We got the Purifier, which in my opinion is pure shit. And we got the Calling, which we're calling that crap. So, now that we got past that, moving on here. There you go. Sepix is down. Wave bye to Mr. Sepix Prime. And now I'll give a little wave to you guys, all you animals out there. And if you watched the Nightfall, then you know what's coming. And I was not and am not happy about it. But I was still hanging on to hope. I still had two characters left. So I was hoping for better things to come. So there it is. There you have it. 12 Ascendant Energies again. So now, <laughs> you know, that's, that's 24 within two Nightfalls. Whatever. You know, they still are somewhat viable i guess to an extent uh but i do have a good amount of them so i don't know i wasn't thrilled about it i don't think that should be a reward in the nightfalls if you need energies you could just go to the daily heroic or whatever the hell it is i don't even do them anymore but here we go this is the next character and i was hoping for a little something better right there the game actually froze on me my uh, not the game but my capture card so I had to get it back up and running, got it in time for the night for the rewards. And I was in there with my buddy L, so shout out to him. And here we go. What do we get this time? I'm hoping my second character is a little bit better. Oh. oh, I get an Ingram. And I cannot stand when you get an Ingram because that means you got to go deal with Master Rao. So there's what my buddy got. He got the Vanquisher, which is actually a pretty decent auto rifle. I'll trade rewards with you if you want. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to head back. We're going to take a trip back to the tower and see what we got. And while we're doing that, we're going to last week's topic was if you could have any movie turned into a game, which would it be? And here we go. Here's one from Joshua Klein, and that would be Saving Private Ryan and Band of Brothers. Great choice. We also got one here from O'Reilly Gaming. I would say the new Fast and the Furious sick another good choice and we got another one from troy i would love to see pacific rim and great choices guys thanks for participating and everybody else who's out there you know just thanks for participating as well if you didn't make it this time maybe you will next time so just keep throwing your comments up there i appreciate them man and they were some great great choices i wasn't familiar with pacific rim i took took a look at it and um it, it looked like it damn well could have been a game to begin with that so that would be really really good one and fast and the furious man i would love for them to make a game but not just a racing game also have like an open world sort of like a gta type environment where you could get out of the car and do missions and other things and you know have to rob banks or whatever you know what i mean whatever they did i think that would be absolutely insane and as far as saving private ryan and band of brothers i think any classic old war game that came out would be absolutely sick you know i think it's one of the things that fps is is lacking these days and i'm just dying waiting for one of them to come out man mine would have to be i would like like a gladiator game man like the movie gladiator and i know rise was similar to that but you know more like gladiator but here we go we're at the Cryptarch, Master Raul, and let's see what we get. Oh, man, I hate this. Two Ascendant Energies. You've got to be kidding me. So, so far, that's two Nightfalls, 14 Ascendant Energies. Here we go with the third and final. 
third and final character, and I'm in there with my Titan and also in there with my buddy L again and my other buddy Rose. So shout out to those guys. Sepix did not stand a chance. We wrecked them, absolutely annihilated them. But you know, for a chance to be featured in next week's Nightfall. I'm going to have it based off of this one, man, because my rewards were so horrible, and I just couldn't believe it. I would love for Bungie. I mean, they've been doing a great job of changing things and trying to meet a lot of our needs, but one thing, man, a reward reroll, I would love that. So next week's topic is going to be, what was your worst rewards ever? And be honest with it, you know, don't go over exaggerating, there's no way really I'll be able to tell or whatever, but... You know, have fun with it, and uh, the best of the worst is going to be featured in next week's episode of The Luckiest Guy on Destiny. So here we go. Here's the roll, and 12 strange coins. At least I got three more to my buddy L there. He got nine, but man, 14 Ascendant Energies and 12 strange coins for three Nightfalls. Ah, that's just horrible. That's just horrible in my opinion. I don't know. Let me, guys, let, let me know what you think. And um, that's going to about wrap it up for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video in any kind of way, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And for a chance to be featured in next week's Luckiest Guy, let me know. What was your worst rewards ever? Going to choose the best of the worst to be featured in next week's Luckiest Guy. And also, don't forget, man, if you have any other kind of topic, feel free to leave a topic anytime on any luckiest guy. And if it's a good topic, we'll run with it, man. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, animals, it's your boy, Hype. We out.